guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about components. So I'm going to show you how to create components in Figma and also where to and how to use them. So as we you can see over here, we have this UI kit, uh, which uh, is uh, our website, uh, which I'm going to leave in a link in the description. And uh, essentially here we can see some examples of uh, where a component would uh, make sense. So for example, whenever you're creating a website, uh, you're going to have multiple screens with uh, header and uh, footer components, which would be the very bottom section of the website, as well as uh, many other repeating elements. And uh, in that case, it makes sense uh, to create a component. In order to create one in Figma, it's actually very, very easy. So I'm going to show you the base uh, uh, workaround as to how it works uh, to create uh, a basic component. In order to illustrate this concept, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a rectangle here and uh, I'm going to change the color and uh, let's make this uh, blue and we're going to give it uh, a rounded corner overall. Now at this point uh, we're going to add some text uh, which is going to be continue and I'm going to increase uh, the font size quite a bit so that we can create uh, this uh, button. So I'm going to make this white, let's uh, center it over here. And uh, as we selected both uh, these uh, layers, uh, you can see that on the very top uh, section, we have this uh, create component button. And uh, once you click on it, uh, you're going to see some changes right away. So the very most prominent one is that uh, this entire object uh, is uh, uh, now having this uh, purple color when it comes to the icons and uh, uh, just the overall selection. And uh, you might also notice that uh, you have uh, an icon next uh, to the layer name, which is now called component in order to reconfirm that this is uh, indeed a component now. And the reason why we have this uh, small icon with these uh, four squares uh, is to indicate that this is the master component. Now let's uh, create a duplicate uh, by using either command C and command V or as I prefer to do it uh, using the option alt key together with the shift in order to create a duplicate of this. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, I don't have this uh, icon which is still visible together with uh, the layer name on the top. And the reason being is that whenever you create a copy of the master component, you're going to have uh, what is called an instance in Figma. And you can uh, double check uh, if this is an instance or not uh, by simply seeing uh, this uh, uh, square, which is uh, at a 90 or 45 degree angle right here. And uh, essentially how it works is that uh, the master is going uh, to basically tell the child how they are going to uh, act and look. So if I create uh, a few more copies uh, of these instances, and I bring the master here in the center, say that I want to change uh, the text location of the master component, you can see how all of the other uh, instances are going to follow automatically. And this uh, is valid for pretty much uh, all uh, of the options, uh, uh, such as the color. So for example, we can change uh, the different color of uh, the master and uh, all of the other ones uh, are simply going to follow. Now note that uh, if I do change uh, uh, the color in an instance, uh, none of the other instances are going to uh, follow that same pattern. So <clears throat> you can create uh, and adjust the options in an instance, but just consider that the master is going to dictate uh, the overall style of it. And uh, also on top of that, uh, another thing uh, to consider is that uh, if uh, you don't want uh, an instance to be an instance anymore, you can easily just uh, remove it uh, by click doing the right click uh, and then uh, select the detach instance. Or you can also use this uh, keyboard shortcut. And the moment that you do so, you're going to basically be left uh, with uh, just uh, a frame. And uh, 
As you may understand from these dynamics, uh, components can be really, really important uh, whenever it comes uh, to the actual scalability of a project and also maintaining a high level of design consistency. And uh, if uh, this is uh, interesting, uh, you can also learn more about the design in uh, one of my recent uh, uh, bundle of all of the courses which I created uh, over the past years, uh, which is uh, over 35 hours of content. And uh, I'm going to teach you everything from getting started in UI UX design uh, to all the design uh, theory, which is uh, essential in order to become a UI UX uh, or web designer these days, uh, as well as how to create a portfolio and uh, master all of the design softwares together with how to find uh, and sell to high ticket design clients. But looking back to this concept over here, you're going to notice that in design systems, and by the way, you can easily uh, find design systems for Figma in this website right here, which is called, as the name suggests, design systems for figma.com. You're going to be able to find some really useful and resources such as the design system for Uber and many other uh, top tier companies so that you can really learn from the master. And you can copy this file absolutely for free and have access to all of the uh, design system which is being used and uh, for production at these companies. So you can really learn from the best and uh, my best suggestion would be to go over these design systems, uh, have a look at, at how they are using components in order to really nail down uh, their, the scalability of their company and uh, examine how they're structuring uh, all of the UI components and uh, data sets uh, in uh, their library because this is really an amazing resource and again, entirely for free. So I would say always learn from the best uh, and uh, here you have uh, some of the top companies uh, in the world. So this is pretty much it for this video. Hope it was helpful and I want to remind you that on my channel you're going to find over 700 videos on <clears throat> UI UX and web design. So feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the very next video.